There were casualties. On Boxing Day, 18 people were killed and 30 injured when the Scottish Express in a snowstorm what I thought about him, the word that came first to my mind was courage. And this is the same word you will find repeated over and over again in the tributes that have been paid uh, to Hugh Gatescombe. <laughs> What happened at Brussels yesterday was bad. Bad for us, bad for Europe, bad for the whole free world. France, or at least the present government of France, are looking backwards, not forwards. They seem to think that one nation can dominate Europe. And equally wrong that Europe can live alone. One of these days you're gonna be sorry Cause your game I'm gonna I go to my constituents in nearly every week, but I'm not usually televised when I go. Will you be able to I'm get to see them? I'm looking forward to meeting them. Yes, I shall be with them tonight. Will you be able to get to see them as regularly now? I hope so, yes. I think every member of parliament should keep in touch with his constituents. Oh, he's a bad MP. You're making your first journey as leader of the party from Platform 13. Are you worried about this? I'm not superstitious. This, we believe, is Britain's role for the future. And it is therefore on these three issues economic strength, social justice, and a restoration of Britain's moral leadership that the Labour Party will be fighting in the next election. Give my heart just a word of sympathy. sympathy. Be as fair to my heart as you can be. And set me free over the sea on the island of dreams. Don't give your love to someone while I am away. I want you to think about me each night and day. And when I come on home After being gone so long I want it to be 
like I've never been gone. Now, you've just had two weeks in Zerba. What's it like there now? It's absolutely deserted at the moment. All the hotels are closing down. In fact, they'll all be closed down by Saturday. And all people are going now. We're about the last party to leave. Were you ever worried by this at all? Well, not really, actually. You know, we just carried on as much as we might on a holiday. We went out skiing every day. The ski uh, slopes were fabulously empty. We could just bomb it straight down. The snow conditions were perfect. <laughs> we had a wonderful holiday. The importance of these nuclear power stations far outweighs the immediate cost of the power they produce. Sign the four leather-bound documents, one for each of the three original members of the pact and one for the National Archives, Mr. Kennedy uses 17 pens. These are presented to each of the official witnesses, plus one for the president. Thus is formally taken one small hopeful step toward world peace. same sort of music until we're about 40, doesn't that when we're sort of old men playing from me to you, nobody's going to want to know at all about that sort of thing. So, we, you know, we've thought about it and probably the thing that John and I will do uh, will be write songs as we have been doing as a sort of sideline now. One, two, three, four! Thank you. 
Commander, what is the scientific value of having a woman in space? I don't think there's any at all. What stresses and strains would a woman suffer in space as opposed to a man, do you think? Well, they'd be exactly the same from the physical point of view. The stresses would be the same. Uh, the strains, for the average woman, they would be slightly greater than for the average man. But this isn't an average woman. She's been carefully selected. But surely a woman's innards, if I may use such a non-medical term, are much more delicately ban balanced than the man. No, I don't think there's really very much evidence for this. There are very few things which uh, a selected woman can't do, which a selected man can do. My prophecies by Cassius Clay. When Cassius says a fight will go five rounds, the bell for the six just never sounds. When I tangled with Archie, I predicted four. And that's all there was. There wasn't any more. When they queried me about the coop about, I answered with Shakespearean grip. When they asked me what round I knocked Henry out, I answered, Henry the Fifth. <laughs> After stating his case, Wallace took up his stand on the doorway of the campus, and while the commander of the state troopers formally requested him to leave, the governor once more stated his case. Threats of force and unwarranted integration, he argued, were detrimental to the public interest. And as James Hood, the first of the two Negro students, finally entered Tuscaloosa, Governor Wallace was already preparing for the next stage. Declaring loudly that he might have failed with the universities, but he was going to fight like Churchill to keep the Negroes out of the schools. A bullet from the back of a bush took Medgar Evers' blood. His finger fired the trigger to his name. His head hit out in the dark. The hand set the spark. Two eyes took the aim. Behind him and spring, but he can't explain. He's only a pawn in the game. I wanna go.
We've got 56 actors so far. Movie stars, Kirk Douglas, Burt Lancaster, Judy Garland. Uh, I can't remember who. Uh, we've got a whole gang of them. We're all going to go to Washington in a plane. We're all going to talk about civil rights. We're all going to go on the television and say what we know because the country is ignorant. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Lied to his friends, lied to his family, lied to his colleagues, lied to his solicitor, lied to the House of Commons. I cannot imagine a greater blow to public morality or integrity than that. Silly to talk about not being interested in Mr. Profumo's morals. Mr. Profumo's morals are a great public issue. On the security <coughs> side, Lord Hailsham, can we really say there is no security problem here or accept any such judgment? when we do know the simple fact that the war minister was sharing a girlfriend with a Soviet agent. Of course there's a security problem. Don't be so silly. Uh, a, a, a secretary of state for war can't have a, 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 a woman shared with a spy, or if he was a spy, without giving rise to a security risk. The question is not whether there was a security risk, but whether there was an actual breach of security. Be sensible. Listen. years of political life, I've tried to do my best, to the best of my powers, both for my party and for my country. And I will not make my whole life worthless or meaningless by being untrue to those convictions, either through panic or through obstinacy.
2,000 years ago, the proudest boast was, Kiwis Romanus Sum. Today, in the world of freedom, the proudest boast is, Ich bin ein Berliner. There are many people in the world who really don't understand, or say they don't, what is the great issue between the free world and the communist world. Let them come to Berlin. There are some who say, there are some who say that communism is the wave of the future. Let them come to Berlin. It takes two countdowns to get the Polaris up, but what a picture she now makes. Mr. Kennedy follows the flight. The missile hits for a target 1,600 miles away. The president voices his warm appreciation to the crew of the submerged submarine for a demonstration sure to please every American. There's Mrs. Kennedy, and the crowd yells, and the president of the United States. The president saying thank you very much, if I may be permitted uh, to read a presidential lip movement. This is a bonus for the people who have waited out here. The president waves goodbye, waits for his wife, and back they go to the car. And the crowd is absolutely going wild. This is a pretty crowd in downtown Dallas. And the president is going to take a fast ride. Our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. And we are all mortal. is not whether you understand what is going to happen to you. Hmm? Don't tell everybody about the ship now. Ship? Yes, yes, ship. This doesn't roll along on wheels, you know. You mean it moves? The TARDIS can go anywhere. TARDIS? I don't understand you, Susan. Well, I made up the name TARDIS from the initials time and relative dimension in space. I thought you'd both understand when you saw the different dimensions inside from those outside. Let me get this straight. 
A thing that looks like a police box, standing in a junkyard. It can move anywhere in time and space. Yes. Quite so. But that's ridiculous. People have given me a hearing without legal representation or anything. You shoot the president? I didn't shoot anybody, no, sir. There is Lee He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. Later this evening, BBC Two goes on the road in rock docks. That's at 20 past midnight. 